Brady Bailey, who is somebody that is near and dear to my heart. We've actually known each other for how long, Brady? Five years. About five years. We used to work together as property managers at an apartment complex years and years ago. So we're both very familiar with that world. And uh, she kind of went on her own path and became a property manager for another company. And then, as you guys know, I decided to quit my job there and start freelancing, join the ZenMade team. And then, of course, that led me to starting my maid service. And now I get to help people with their maid services all over the country. So... That's what I do in my life, and Randy has been messaging me steadily about, I don't know, maybe once every like one or two months, I'll just get a random text from Randy, and she's like, so if I did start a maid service, how would I do this, or how would I come up with products, or how would I, you know, whatever, and so I feel like it's been something that's been on her mind for a long time. So, Randy, why don't you go ahead and tell me a little bit about your life right now and kind of why you're thinking about starting a maid service. My life is maid service. I'm up with the butt crack and on. I'm taking care of my kids and still working full time. And it just, it gets to be a lot, but I'm kind of at that point right now where I'm just searching for something else because I'm not being fulfilled with what I have, which, you know, not to say that I don't have anything I do it's just I'm looking for something different I'm tired of the humdrum basics of what I do now and I just want to get into something different and I feel like something along this line would be beneficial to me just to change it up and to actually use my brain for its full potential <laughs> what do you think about being a business owner versus working for someone else it's kind of hard to say, I guess, because since I haven't done it yet, I can't obviously speak to that, but, you know, from what I do now, it's, you know, the normal nine to five stuff, and that's great, because I feel like when you start out, out of high school, you do the retail thing, and you work whatever shifts they give you, and then you're like, man, if I could only get to the nine to five jobs, I'd be set, and then you get to the nine to five jobs, and you're like, this is, a, this is good, I can, you know, like, manage my life a little bit better now, but I've been doing that for so long, and I'm like, this even is bad I'm just over this you're bored yeah I'm, I'm <laughs> bored and it's just I don't like I said I don't feel fulfilled I don't feel like I'm using my brain power I use maybe like two percent of it doing what I do every day which you know not to say that it has its challenges it does but it's just like I get I get so bored and I'm like I'm just I just need more. You need excitement. Yes. Yes. And what better way to be a <laughs> business owner and run a service? Right. It's a very exciting world. It's a very stressful world and a very chaotic world. But if you get the right systems in place and you have a smooth operating business, then it's really fun. It really is. To watch it grow every month is just really exciting. So, and knowing that, you know, as you're watching it grow, it's, it's different when you're watching somebody else's business grow. If you go and you're the manager of something or if you're, you know, even if you're a district manager or something like that, watching those businesses grow is equally exciting. However, at the end of the day, that's not your bank account that's going up. It's the business <laughs> owner's bank account. Right. So when it's your business and you get to watch it grow and then you actually get to reap the rewards and the benefits from it, that's when it gets really magical. So... Knowing that you're the one that created that and that that life is all because of the hard work that you put in is super exciting. And that's why I'm here. Exactly. I'm just tired of it. So Randy <laughs> came to visit me today because she wanted me to talk to her about, uh, you know, how to open a maid service and basically what that would entail, what her life would look like a year from now. Um, so tell me what has been holding you back because obviously you've been talking to me for about a year now. Yeah, you just got tired of me texting you. You're like, just come in. <laughs> Stop texting me. Just come here. She said, uh, she's always asking me these questions and I keep telling her, yeah, there's an answer to that. There's, you know, there's a solution. I feel like you were luring me in here. You gave me like a breadcrumb and then you're like, come on, you're going to come in. I was excited because I know you and I know your potential. I know your brain power and I know that you would succeed. So watching you live that humdrum life and be miserable and bored and everything else, it's right. so frustrating. Right. And it's frustrating for me, to, not just for you, for a lot of people though. I see a lot of people in my life where they live that and they just... They're miserable, but they don't want to do anything to change it, or you know, they maybe don't feel like they have the ability to change it. But you're different because you do have the ability, and now you're ready to do it. So that is where I think the switch flipped, and now that's why you're here. And so, uh, what? Tell me what you think. Like, what's your biggest fears about starting a service? 
I guess it's always fear of the unknown mm -hmm. and not knowing what I'm getting myself into. Like I can kind of talk with you and get ideas or I can, you know, do research or whatever, but until I'm actually there, like living it and doing it every day, mm -hmm. I guess it's, it's fear of the unknown. It's, you know, am I going to be able to do this? Am I going to do it right? Am I going to do it better than, you know, them? Am I going to be successful? You know, am I going to be able to help people? Is it going to matter? Mm -hmm. All those things kind of just snowball in my head and they're like, oh, the answer to all those things is no, it's not going to matter, blah, blah, blah. So then I was like, okay, well then I just won't do it. <laughs> but then I would go to work and I would do that nine to five stuff and I would just be in my block mood and I would flip flop back and forth with the idea. I'm like, well, no, you can do it. And then I'd be like, no, I can't. Yes, I can. I'm like, okay, stop. <laughs> So that's pretty much the life of an entrepreneur is this roller coaster of emotions. Everybody goes through, um, I'm, oh my God, my website, I just got a new website. It's beautiful. I'm so proud of myself. And then a week later, the website might crash or something. And that's why did I even do this? Everything's a mess. Like it's just a constant up and down right. as a business owner. You're going to go through so many different emotions. You're going to go through a lot of highs. You're going to go through a lot of lows. But at the end of the day, it's still worth it. It's right. still worth it saying no to the blah humdrum lifestyle right. and it's still like this is your life and you're in charge of it and right. that's what's exciting so what are you excited about also about the unknown because i've never done this before i don't know what i'm doing so it's just it's exciting to start something new it's exciting to take control of my life it's exciting to just know i'm not gonna settle for that anymore i want something more and i want to be able to experience new things help people and I want to experience a better life for my family. Exactly. And you want to be a role model to your kids. Yeah. And show them what, you know, what possibilities there are. And like for me, that was really important. I wanted Kaylin, my daughter, and my son, but he's only two. But I wanted my 10 year old to see what, you know, what the possibilities are in life. She doesn't have to be boxed in. She can, right. she can create her own future. So right. that's really important to me. And I think as you go, you're going to realize how important that is as well right. for your kids. So, um, Randy Bailey, I would like to personally offer to train and coach you for an entire year. I would <laughs> love to see you start from scratch and build up your maid service and be able to actually leave your job. And when you walk out of your job, you're going to have a full-fledged business that you can easily transition right into without having to worry about a dip in pay or anything like that. Um, I think that uh, with with you and I working together and the fact that I already know we work well together because we used to work together, <laughs> so that's going to be easy. But basically, I'm offering to help you do that for an entire year at no charge if you promise to <laughs> document your journey and help me um, you know, do videos and update the people on everything that's going on. I want... <laughs> I want content from you. I want you to share your journey. I want you to share your story and the different struggles that you're going to come up against over this next year. And I think it'll be really, really exciting for everybody to see exactly what it takes to start a maid service, all of the things in that first year that you have to figure out. And I'm hoping, uh, my whole purpose for offering this is because I want to use this story to help others and I want people to see you know, just how easy it is and also the struggles that are involved. And hopefully they will learn from this and you are going to learn a ton over this next year because I'm going to beat you to death with information <laughs> so uh, whether you like it or not you're about to be you're about to know more about the main service industry than you ever wanted to more know. Than I signed up for. way more than you signed up for <laughs> but I would absolutely love to do this with you and take this journey with you if you will uh, yeah if you'll document it and let the people see exactly what's going on and, and how you're growing does that sound like a plan sounds like a plan yay <laughs> hug. we're gonna hug you now I have to hug you okay <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to watch you grow and watch Back in business again. I, is what I know. Five years in, we're finally back in business. Right? <laughs> I would have thought it'd take another five years. Right? I know. So, I just so. to listen to know you're happy. All right, so this is Randy Bailey, everybody. You're hearing it from her. Go ahead and say it. I'm going to be a main service owner. All right, I'm going to be a main service owner. So, What's happening? first thing, we got to come up with a, with a name. <laughs> <laughs> that was all, yeah. We got a lot of ideas for that, but uh, yeah. we like Midwest Made, M-A-I-D, because we're Midwesterners, so, but we'll, we'll, maybe we'll pull it and we'll get some ideas for the names of the groups. Yeah. We can use, I would love to use you guys as uh, an audience to like participate in the different ideas yeah. and coming up with that kind of stuff. I think it'd be really fun, so hopefully you guys are excited to take this journey with us, and I know I'm excited. Right? I'm excited. excited. I'm like nervous excited, but it's a good, it's a good nervous. It's nervous excited, so it's good. It's good. All right, signing out, and uh, welcome to the journey, guys.